Before the opening bell, U.S. indices closing mixed on Thursday after oil hit a five-month low. Shares in food and staples retailing, insurance and food, beverage and tobacco all trading slightly higher, while shares in energy, tele telecommunication services and media, they were under pressure. Advancers beating out decliners, 56% of S&P 500 constituents trading higher yesterday. Now, after the markets closed, CVS announced first quarter adjusted EPS up 9% year over year to $1.04 on sales of $3.34 billion dollars. In addition, net earnings for CVS from continuing operations, $454 million. Herbalife unveiling its first quarter adjusted EPS of $1.24 versus $1.36 the previous year on net sales of $1.1 billion. Also, the company now sees a full year adjusted EPS in a range of $4.05 to $4.45. And Activision Blizzard reporting first quarter adjusted EPS of $0.31 cents versus $0.23 cents the previous year on net revenue of $1.73 billion. The company also sees second quarter adjusted EPS of 27 cents. Meanwhile, turning overseas, Asian markets mixed today. The Nikkei up 0.7 percent. The Hang Seng down 0.84 percent. China CSI 300 down 0.64 percent. And South Korea's Kospi up just under 1 percent. European markets consolidating and U.S. futures calling for a flat open. Now there are no major earnings expected out of the U.S. to close out the week. But on the economic docket, 8:30 in the morning, we have the April change in non-farm payrolls, the April change in manufacturing payrolls, and the April unemployment rate. All 8:30 in the morning. Taking a look at the markets, S&P 500 in a period of a rebound. The relative strength index mixed to bullish and long positions above 2381 are favored with targets at 2388 and 23950 in extension. The Nasdaq, that sees a rebound, preferring long positions above 5605. And the Dow Jones, also seeing an expected rebound, preferring long positions above 20,830.